Hello, you are on Mutiny Radio. <laughs> Hi. Did you just cough uh, into the is, phone? <laughs> what? Did you just cough? You're clearing your throat? Can I just what? Did you just clear your throat? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. Oh. But my phone might suck, too. I'm on, like, a cell phone. Oh, are you? Well, you have bad service. Are you with at and I don't know what it is. No? No, I just sign up for the phone. Yeah, you shouldn't really. You don't want to promote them. Who knows, right? They could use you. Blackberry. Does it sound like we can do this? Yeah. Can you hear me all right? I can hear you fine. I don't know what I sound like. You sound a little sick, actually. I am sick. How do you know? Oh, you're a little nasally there. Well, I mean, I've heard your voice before, but... No, I got... I got my eyes are crazy itchy, and I'm like, um... I'm, I'm like, phlegmy, and... Sorry about making a gross noise. <laughs> I thought you were just like, hello, ha, ha, ha. I was like, wow, <laughs> that's so nice. No, no it sucks. Yeah, well, that's really gross. Are you, are you sick or is it allergies? I hope it's allergies because I got to go on the road for a long time, so I don't have to have a cold. Yeah. I've had a cold in a long time, so I don't think so. Did it just start? I had, you know, I, last week, like, my eyes were itchy, but I thought I was chlorine because I was swimming all the time. Oh, nice. And then, and then it could be a more. <laughs> it could be what? I feel like I'm whining to you about my. my <laughs> you're complaining about your health. Yeah, it's like, why don't we let Are everyone you? know you're doing a show this weekend and come and catch a free disease? Norm MacDonald will be uh, giving you his cold with every performance today. Is that too much? Hello? I didn't hear that. What? Oh, I said everyone can come and check you out and get a free cold from you. Oh, yes. I'll give them a cold. Yeah, that's nice of I'll you. Give them, I'll give them uh, <laughs> a piece of norm with every performance. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so are you going to stay in bed today or are you going to try to go out and see the city? I, no, I want to. Uh, I want to. Uh, I take NyQuil. I took NyQuil last night. Ooh, you slept like a baby? I take NyQuil. Yeah, because I don't drink, so, like, NyQuil is, like, really powerful on me. Like, oh. I feel, like, all woozy, and then I wake up all, like, weird. You know? <laughs> like, uh, what happened to you? <laughs> yeah, that's exciting. I'm not, like, a huge, I don't have a, I don't have a high tolerance for anything. Oh. Or do you but, straight uh, edge? Is that, you know, the term kids use, right? Straight edge? No, I don't know what that means. It, what, what horrible thing is that? <laughs> it means that you don't do any drugs, or you don't drink or anything. You're sober. Oh. Uh, Straight edge? Oh, that's cool. Is that a, a term of derision, though, or do people admire them? They like it. I mean, the straight edge kids like it, but I think the, you know, the party kids kind of tease them for it. But is it like the idea that straight edge is, cool to be, is the new cool? Or I, you know, I think the dare people probably want it to be the new cool, but I think it just is like the D&D &D crowd are probably the ones that get the most credit for it. Well, nerdy people are cool now. You know that? <laughs> it is. Yeah, all the geek stuff. Would you consider yourself yeah. a nerd? No. I think they should, because nerds are getting all the women now. You know I mean? <laughs> they should have, like, a revenge of the jocks. <laughs> jocks can't get any ladies, because, you know. <laughs> that would almost be entertaining. Just, yeah. The jocks are just left with, like, gnarly girls, but <laughs> the nerds have all the like, classy, beautiful girls, yeah. so. Well, I did just have a friend inform me that uh, less attractive women actually do more things in the bedroom. They do what? They do more things in the bedroom. Like, they put out more. They do they do more stops. I'm getting a nod from someone in the cafe. Is this true? Would you agree? Well, I would say that in any... In any... Uh, um in any, in any human act, you know, you're going to do as much as you need to do. <laughs> but they're saying it's like an evolutionary thing. Like, the less attractive women need to try to keep their men so they're putting out more stops or something. Well, yeah, it's not evolutionary. It's the same as uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at evolutionary. You're like, I better, you know, I'm so awful looking. <laughs> I better be the best uh person in bed that I possibly can. They're highly incentivized. Mm -hmm. Maybe them and the jocks can get together. They seem like two future yeah. unrepresented or unloved uh, groups. Whereas beautiful women, they go, that's enough that I show up and you can lie down. On <laughs> that's what I've heard, yeah. It's yeah. just the dead fish syndrome. But I think that works with guys, too. I think really attractive men don't really have to work for it because so they can just uh, do what they want. What do you yeah, think? Do you work for it, Norm, or are you just normal? You don't care? You're attractive? Yeah, I, I, I find, um, I find a, a sex kind of a boring 
boring, repetitive kind of thing. <laughs> I liked it in my youth when I was a boy. You know, about 47. Oh, I see. So yeah, you're over it now. You're no Hugh Hefner. You're not on. No, nah, like to me, it's funny. Like people go, man, that guy's the coolest. I think he looks like an idiot. <laughs> like, you know, I wouldn't want to be a hundred year old man walking around with seven young, beautiful girls. I feel like an idiot. Like they're playing me for a sap. Yeah. Exactly. Like, how can you not see them? They're so creepy. It's just like the age difference. It's not weird when she's seven or it's weird when she's seven and you're, you know, 30. But when you're 70 and she's 20, it's OK. Yeah, that's a good point. I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, so you're doing a show to, or this weekend. Unfortunately, I was going to pretend to uh, let you know that I was ovulating. So I was going to, you know, let you know it's a good thing you're not here because I'm more attractive to you. You just can't resist it. But you're telling me you're not even attracted to anything right now. So no, that, that's a bummer on my part. I, I'm ovulating women a week before their period. They ovulate. Yeah. So they give out more hormones. Our breasts get a little bit larger. Oh, yeah. And men, unintentionally, you get more attracted to us. You can't really fight it. So I was just going to be like, you can't resist me right now. I'm ovulating. Get a whiff of what I'm, you know, giving you. But you're telling me you don't even care. Well, one thing I'm telling you is uh, I hate uh, knowing all that stuff. <laughs> like, you know, about women's things and stuff. I like, I go, can that be mysterious? Never, like, tell me. There's still things I don't know. Like, people bring it up. They like, go, no, no, you understand? And every month I'm like, no, that's cool, whatever. But I, you just don't want to know. Because, yeah, I have a vague understanding, sort of, but, uh, you know, the less I know, the, the more I enjoy it. <laughs> I see, I see. So I understand you're... Not thinking of it in a, in a biological way. Help me. <laughs> you would just prefer... I'm sorry, you just got joined. We have our other uh, co-host. Uh, a meat hook. Norm, we hung out last night. You're a badass. <laughs> Oh, yeah, but, Did you uh, hang out with him last night? <laughs> yeah, he was awesome. Let's talk about the show last night. It was awesome. He just oh, the show was fun, man. dude. It was show rad. Was and like you started Thursdays. I just uh, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, I just talk a lot. See what comes up. It was awesome. He just kept, like he was fucking with every, uh, the people's heads at the end, and he just like went on for an extra hour or so. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty yeah, amazing. Couple of, we did a couple of hours last night. Uh, I'm wandering around while I'm talking to you guys. Are you? Are you lost? Are you yeah, deranged? Yeah. No, I'm lost. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us where you are. We'll locate you. We'll find you. I'm at, I don't know. <laughs> Larkin and something. Larkin? Just stay away from Market. You don't want to run into the homeless people. Uh, stay away from Larkin? Fuck. <laughs> How do I do this? Uh, go towards the water. The, uh, the homeless people don't like to bathe, so as long as you stay near the water, stay you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they fear cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Norm. Uh, I said, all right, Norm, you're doing this tour. How long are you doing this tour for? I don't know. It's like every week. <laughs> <laughs> until you drop dead of this disease or until you... Aren't yeah, you, are you working on something else? I saw something you might be hosting I, the poker I show. I, I, the what show? Poker? You doing something? I did that. I don't know. Well, poker right now is like, there's a lot of issues with online poker, so I don't know how. Uh, I know my mom. I, I think poker's going to do it because it's all, it's all a big thing now. Yeah, my mom uh, actually met you when she's a semi pro poker player. You bought her glasses. Semi pro poker player? <laughs> she is, yeah. She actually is, she's retired right now. She's on the leave because she's taking care of my sister's baby. She's playing That's a grandma cool. role, but yeah. That's pretty cool. Isn't it fun? I know. Well, you play poker. You enjoy it. A little bit, yeah. I, I enjoy it. You play? Um, I actually have played a couple times. I went with her once to a tournament, but I don't, you know, I watch it more than I play it. I'm a voyeur. What can I say? I got you. I, I see a boat from where I am now. You see a what? <laughs> I see a boat from where I am. Oh, then Go you're safe. It. The homeless people Wait, will I'm stay away. <laughs> I'm going to ask someone a question. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so you hung out with him last night? Norm's awesome. Yeah, yeah, he was at the bar. We went and saw his show last night. What did you exp anyway. Oh, maybe that one? Is that the cannery? It's the cannery. That's oh, you're by the, so you're by the <laughs> piers over there. 
I'm getting, I'm getting it. Watch out, back. watch out for the peer pressure. Mm. So I don't get lost in the middle of uh, the Bay Area. Yeah. If you want to <laughs> see some local... I know I'm in the area, but there's a bay, because there's a bay here. <laughs> it's a bay there, you're right. You know, if you can see the Golden Gate Bridge, it is... The... It is the most popular bridge for people to commit oh, suicide. Oh, the Golden Gate Bridge? Oh, yeah, there it is. The red thing? Beautiful. It's red. Yeah. It's like the red thing. <laughs> it's called the red thing. The red thing, yeah. Is there I like, like a debate between those two finalists? And you're sticking with the red thing? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I told you I'm ovulating. I know that's too much information, uh, yeah, but yeah, 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 <laughs> the yeah, red yeah, thing. Yeah. That's what it all goes. Well, I know very little. <laughs> I just let you know. Well, I was gonna tell you that the Golden Gate Bridge, the red thing, is the most popular bridge for people to jump off of and commit suicide. So you could do really? some, yeah. yeah. They have a book, uh, suicide note, or the, yeah, suicide notes, something like that. It was just all like, yeah, there's like 500. People were jumping off just to be the 300th and shit, you know, two things. Oh, uh, you were talking about the movie? Oh, no, there's, a, there's its actuality. They took all the suicide notes from uh, the Golden Gate Bridge, like suicide, uh, and I put them in a book. A, I saw a documentary where it was just people that survived. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. The I know bridge, what you're talking about. Yeah, That's hilarious. That is you know not what they hilarious. all had in common? But they, did they all have what? They, they all, all had in common that did it? Oh. This they joke. all regretted it moments after. <laughs> Before they hit the... Everyone. They mm. haven't seen everyone that died. They should have mm. a documentary on that. You know what I think is also interesting? I looked into doing... I know this... We're still promoting your show, but... I looked into being a suicide hotline worker, you know, to try to talk you people did? out of it. I did. And yeah. they don't pay you to do this. It's completely volunteer-based. And you have to pay $50 or something like that to take a course. So for yeah. you to be in a position to... <laughs> save someone's life they don't want to pay you and you need to sign a contract and you have to pay to do this yeah that's crazy it's pretty ridiculous in my opinion so are you what are you uh, what is that show i'm doing anyway <laughs> well we're giving away tickets to your show on You're sunday tickets to the show? we are yes this sunday it's gonna be out of control i you did a good job last night i guess you went wow. over the time it yeah. was it was pretty rough. Two hours last night. Yeah, how, yeah. How, did, how did it feel? How was the crowd? It's so hot out here. I'm in downtown San Francisco. <laughs> and I mean, did you enjoy the crowd? Everything? It was good? Yeah, yeah everything was good. It was fun. Are you going to try to do any sightseeing today or anything like that? No, I'm not going to see any sights. I'm tired. Yeah, trying to avoid it. Early, Get some emergency. I had a, I had a drink NyQuil. So. <laughs> drink like DayQuil. <laughs> you want DayQuil for the daytime. DayQuil, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're doing the show all weekend long. You're going to yeah. be spreading your through disease Sunday. through Friday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday. Who's opening for you? Do you know? Larry Bubbles Brown. Mm. Yeah. A veteran. A veteran of the Bay Area. The area around the Bay. <laughs> Crazy Legs. Isn't that wasn't that from uh, what was the, the movie? Crazy Legs. Isn't that his name? I have no idea. Skinny legs, crazy legs. Yeah, All right, do, moving on. I do also know that your birthday is coming up. I think it's on Monday, right? Oh, are you still? Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Hello? Is your birthday coming up on Monday, right? I lost it. Oh, no. Did you lose it? Did you not hear me? Check, check. Norm. Hello. Hey, Hello? can you hear us? <laughs> Don't stay away from the bridge. <laughs> Don't go in the water. <laughs> Don't go overboard. Avoid the seals. They bite. Oh, no. Can you hear us? I think we oh, lost Oh, I them. think we lost